I haven't made my annual trip to the apple orchard yet, my favorite thing to do in the fall, but I have been finding wonderful apples in the store and at the farmer's market. So I've been thinking of all kinds of ways to use these crispy, juicy, delicious apples. And one way that I've discovered is in a broccoli salad. Apples and broccoli and, well, you'll see what other ingredients I put in, but I always start with a nice sweet and tangy dressing. So it's very simple. I've already put a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar into my measuring cup. I'm going to add half cup of olive oil. And then for the sweetener, I'm using maple syrup. And I like to use three or four tablespoons of maple syrup, depending on how sweet you like it. But like I said, this is sweet and tangy. Little bit of minced garlic, probably a couple cloves. And a little bit of salt. And a little bit of black pepper. And that's all there is to it. So I'll mix this up. And I can do this anytime. I can mix it up, put it in a jar, and keep it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. And you'll find this is great just on green salad, spinach salad, you'll find a lot of ways to use it. I've already cut up some broccoli, and you can see that I've made pretty small pieces. I want them to be bite-sized. So I've put them in the bowl, and then what I wanted to be sure you know is that typically we think we have to discard the stalk of the broccoli, the stem. You don't really have to because inside, if you take your vegetable peeler and peel away some of that tough outer part of the stock, inside is a tender, delicious part of the stock. So this, you can just cut up into little match sticks and add it to your broccoli salad and it's so good. So I've got the broccoli in there. I'm going to put some minced red onion, just chopped really fine and some dried cranberries, that's what I like. You could use raisins too if you wanted, but dried cranberries are really good. Now, this is what I'd do if I was mixing it up ahead of time and let's say I made it Sunday and I wanted to eat it for lunch throughout the week. I would just leave that in the bowl and I would cover it, put it in the fridge, and I might add a little bit of the dressing to it before I put it in the fridge, so we'll do that. So tomorrow if I wanted this for lunch, I would add some chopped apple and try to find a variety that doesn't brown real fast. I've got honey crisp here, but you can use your favorite apple, just be sure it doesn't brown real fast. And then I'd add some sunflower seeds. Mix it up, and it's ready to eat. So give this a try. It's a sweet and tangy apple and broccoli salad. I'm Sue Doden, sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.